Welcome back everyone, it's your boy Killer NC. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to bring you a video. Um, I pretty much spent last three, four hours uh, overclocking my AMD CPU. Um, I have overclocked it when I first got it a couple years ago, um, but at 40, I was 40, 4,400 uh, megahertz. And at that time, it was okay. Uh, but with the new releases, Battlefield 1, all these other uh, games coming out, I thought I'd give it another shot at overclocking it. And I was able to get it at 4816 megahertz. And I did look around some videos, and it was really hard to find pretty much instructions. Um, they would tell you certain things, but then they wouldn't show you. I mean, it, it wasn't easy. So I did a lot of research. Um, I played around a lot, made a lot of mistakes, fixed it all. And now we're running at 4,800, uh, 4,816 to be exact. And there's the speed fan or temperatures, uh, with the prime 95 running for about two hours. I uh, went up to 77. Now I do have a radiator. It's up there. So definitely if you don't have one of those and you just have the stack fan, please don't try this. Um, if you have another kind of cooler, um, you know, don't be disappointed if you can't get this high. But I wanted to give you guys exactly my settings in case you guys wanted to try and play around with yours and see if you can get some overclocking. All right, so the CPU that I have is a AMD FX 8350, and my motherboard is a ASUS Crosshair 5 Formula Z. I have 32 gigs of memory. It's G skill. And I have a Radeon RX 480 graphics card. I actually did a uh, unboxing of that, and I will be doing a new video regarding the overclocking. So I will be overclocking that as well. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead into the BIOS and I'll show you what my overclocking settings are. Okay, so here we are, the ASUS BIOS. And I'm gonna go, as you guys can see, current speed 4800. Although it reaches 4813, I think, the highest. So here's exactly what you're going to do. It might be a little bit different with your, depending on what kind of motherboard you guys have. But one way or another, this information is available to you. All right. So you definitely want to load Extreme OC Profile. Go ahead and put the AI Overclock Tuner to Manual. CPU level up, cancel, because we want to do this manually. My CPU ratio, I got it up to 24. AMD Turbo Core Technology, disabled. The CPU bus frequency, 200. PCIe frequency, left that on auto. Memory frequency, DDR3. 1333 megahertz um, that it's my my RAM um, I will be upgrading shortly but that's what I have right now the CPU Northbridge frequency 2200 and that number is right up here moving on the HT link speed is right up here 2600 the CPU spread spectrum disabled, as well as the PCIe spread spectrum, EPU power saving mode, 
and the extreme tweaking, disable all of that. I did nothing to the DRAM timing control, the driving control, the GPU dim post. Go into DG plus power control. And here we have the CPU low line calibration or the CPU LLC ultra high. The CPU current capability 130. CPU power phase control standard. The CPU power switching frequency manual. VRM fixed frequency mode 300. CPU power duty control T probe. CPU power response control auto. CPU power thermal control 130. The CPU Northbridge Lone Line calibration, I put that on high. The CPU Northbridge current capability, I put that 130. CPU Northbridge power response control, auto. The DRAM current capability, 100%. I think we have one more. Two. DRAM power phase control, left that on optimize. Um, you can go ahead and switch that to extreme. It works for me at optimize. Um, so I left that alone. Then DRAM switching frequency, 300. And then we'll go back. Okay, the CPU and Northbridge voltage, you wanna definitely change that to manual. Now, in order for me to get the 4.8, I have, I'm running with 1.464 voltage of the CPU. I left the CPU Northbridge manual voltage, I left that on auto. The, I also left the CPU VDDA voltage on auto. The DRAM voltage, I pretty much try to match it to what it was running. So the closest was 1.5. The Northbridge voltage, left that on auto. The Northbridge HD voltage, left that on auto as well. And everything else I left on auto, I did not touch. Everything's on auto. Then we go to advanced. And CPU configuration. Cool and quiet. While you're overclocking it, make sure that this is on always disabled. Once you have your overclocking done, you can always change that to disabled by CPU. And since I'm done overclocking, I'm gonna go ahead and switch that. The C1E, you want it disabled. SVM, disabled. Core 6, Core C6 state disabled. Now you want to enable HPC mode and disable APM master mode. All right. Once you're done with that, I would recommend that you go into your tool section, go to ASUS or whatever you have your uh, overclocking profile. On my motherboard, I have up to eight. So as you guys can see, I've been playing with it and saving. That way I don't have to do all these steps again. So at one point I was at 4,600, if you guys can see there. And I played around a lot of them. So this is my main one right now is 4,800. So once you're done, and I would start at increments. That is my numbers. But like I said, I spent hours. So I, if I were you, I would not just jump and put all my numbers in. I would start lower. And just so you guys know, you know, what kind of temperatures and what kind of numbers you're looking at to get the 4800. Um, obviously, if you want higher, you're going to have to go higher on voltage. I didn't feel comfortable going any hotter. So even though I could probably go up to five gig, uh, I could probably go up to uh, five gigahertz, but I'm OK with 4800. I'm comfortable. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So wanted to go ahead and give you my settings, try to help anybody that I can. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, please make sure to hit that like, share it, try to help somebody else out. 
And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I have all tons of different videos, unboxings, overclocking, gameplay. I mean, you name it. I have a little bit of everything on my channel. Until next time, take care. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.